Hey folks, here I am, back with the tastiest time of the month. Yum yum. It's Carnivore Club, and it's it's heavy, and it's bulging. It's There's so much in here. I can't wait. It's the middle of the night as always. Seems to be the most common time when I do my videos now. So, July 2021, Carnivore Club. Delicious. The classic box, full of meat of meat I can't wait um, what a great subscription to get Ooh, that one looks a little greasy they all look a little bit greasy um, normally I do this right away but this has been on top of my fridge for a day or so so I've had a lot of stuff going on but I cannot wait to get into this and see what we do oh, I cannot wait to get into this and see what we do. Oh. I'm gonna eat some meat so let's see what we've got. Got a lot. I mean, it's heavy. Like I said, it's heavy. There's there's a lot in this box this month. I don't have a drink prepared for myself. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So, Carnivore Club, Espuna Tapas Essentials. Hmm. So, uh, you know, the way it works is every month they usually feature a brand, um, sometimes a theme, but usually it's a brand of meats. And uh, this time, that's what we've got. That's our brand. Last month, we had three different brands. But, oh, I'm sorry, Espuna. We got the little onion. That's the way my Spanish teacher taught me in school. The onion, nia. The, you know, the, whatever we call that thing. Espuna. With a history in Ola, Spain, dating back to 1947. Uh, Family-owned company? Okay. High-quality ingredients with time-honored Spanish recipes. So, sounds good to me. So we got six different things in this box, and uh, I never know what I want to go for first, but I do know what I want to go for first. So everything looks really, really good. We got a standard pepperoni, a sweet soprasat. We got mixed soprasat. We got prosciutto, as always. Um, oh, chorizo, delicious chorizo. Um, this is just the standard. What is this? The uncured pepperoni and more sobrasa. Oh. Mmm. So I think we're gonna start this month with the pre-sliced stuff. I'm gonna try it out. I gotta go with what I know is always my favorite. Always my favorite. So is this bent so I can peel it? Is that what this is? Or did that just so happen? I don't know. Easy to peel. Now, like so often, this stuff is shelf stable, so. It can sit for as long as you want, but once you open it, it needs to be refrigerated. And it's so thin, you can see through it. I know, Tato. I know. I wasn't going to keep it from you. I was going to share. Come on over. Come on over, buddy. Look how thin and beautiful that is. It just, oh, it just tears. Come here, buddy. Come here, Tato. Come here, Tato, boy. Yeah, there you go. Mmm. Mmm. God, I love meat. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. This one has a little bit of a sweetness to it, which I really like. It's good. It's good, huh, Tato? It's good. I could eat this. I'll probably eat this whole package tonight. Let's check out the mix sopasada. Does this one have a little broken corner too, or is that just was that just fortuitous that one? No, it does. It look, it has a little broken corner. Thank you so much for making it easy for me to get into. Not even wiping the grease. Oh god, that's really good. made in the USA. I haven't even looked at the ingredients or anything. But I love it. They're, like all these things, always they're such simple, easy ingredients. Like, never a bunch of crap. Tato, I'm going to give you the first bite this time. I took the first bite last time. You can get the first bite this time. There you go. Tato says nom nom nom. Sea salt spices. Turbinado. 
Maybe that's what I'm taking. Well, it's the paprika. Okay. There's something... There's something good. I don't know what it is, but it's... First of all, I like that it's got a very... It's got a very solid texture to it, you know? Here. Mm. There's a flavor there that I just can't place. It's driving me a little crazy that I can't quite... Oh, it's got a little spicy kick to it, too. Hmm. If you like meat and you are not subscribed to this yet, if we are not meat friends yet, I don't know what I am doing wrong short of buying the box for you. And please believe me. If I had a billion dollars, everybody would get us. Like, you just, every, the world would get this in the mail. Hmm. Oh, this is good. It takes, it's, it's hard. Like I always say, growing up, little Italian boy in New York City, it is hard for me to, to say, you know what, I like something better than the old prosciutto. This shit is good. Oh, oh. I'm going to save some though. Because now, so we've got that. This is extra hot. I gotta try the extra hot. I gotta go straight to it. And then we've got sweet. Notice they assume you're gonna like the extra hot so much more. I'm gonna go for the extra hot. And I am just gonna slice right in. Ooh, the slicing feels... It, 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 you can feel like the, the, um, the cured, the, the air cured on the casing. But then nice and soft as you go through the, the interior. Yeah. Look at that. Now, let's see what it says for ingredients. Pork, salt, paprika, pepper, dextrose, lactic acid, stir, culture. Okay. The paprika smell on this is pretty intense. Tato, I'm going to give you the end piece. This is like kind of the best piece. I'm going to give it to you. Mmm. Oh, great texture. Mmm. Has great mouthfeel. Yeah, that's it. Oh, oh, the spice. But you get to taste the flavor for a second, and then that spice, it is extra hot. Mmm. They don't tell you what kind of pepper. They just say pepper. Mm. So, I'm getting it on my lips and inside my cheeks. <coughs> I just inhaled it a little bit. So, in all honesty, it's got a good flavor, but at a certain point, the spice does sort of become a little overbearing. Now, every time you put a new slice in your mouth, you get the flavor again. But now, I'm always saying whenever we whenever we taste a meat kind of thing, <clears throat> it is hot. It is. But I always say that spice should not be spicy just for the sake of burning your mouth. It should always be spicy flavor. And it is, but the spice tends to overwhelm the flavor after so you get the flavor but then the spice kind of overwhelms it you know what i mean and i like that we get the flavor but i wish that the the spice was more of a spice flavor not just a spice hot but it's good but i feel like i like the i like to taste the spicy pepperness not just have my mouth burned for the but i mean but spice is spice it's good you know title I mean, you'll notice I'm still shoveling it in my mouth. Because that initial flavor is really good. Mm. I think I'm going to cut this one in half, share it with the tape, and then move on to the sweet. So I'm, I'm pairing this with a red with Stone Lantern. Stone Lantern. It's a 2018 from the Columbia Valley. 
case you want to know, I looked it up. This stuff goes with meat. Um, supposedly, according to the little card. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the sweet. Because um, the sweet should be, let's see if it kind of, how it goes compared to the spice. And this is pork sea salt, uh, turbinado sugar. So that's what turbinado is. It's a sugar. All right, natural flavors, spices, red wine. Gotcha. Um, garlic lactic, lactic acid starter culture. Still have a little, I also got, I also got my big, a big old tumbler of water. Um, but uh, let's see. This is a much tougher. Wondering if the, the spice, if the spicy pepper also tenderizes the meat. All right. So. Oh. It's a different smell. It. Garlic ear. Um, come here, Tino. Come on, bro. Where are you going? There you are. There you go. Uh, mm. I definitely taste some of the sweetness that was here. It is much sweeter. I like it. I like it a lot. It's a much tougher, chewier texture, but it is enjoyable to chew because the flavor comes out every time you chew it. Um, it is very tough. Like if you watch me cut it again, it is. Get rid of that plastic. I mean, it is. It is tough, but every time you chew it, a little bit more of that flavor comes out, and it's not sweet like a like a candy sugar sweet, but it's like a sweet meat, like a sweet brat, you know, like 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 a sweet sausage. Um, Mm. And it's so worth the effort to chew that and get that flavor. It's really good. This is so far, this is my favorite thing in this box. And I would go, I would seek out and buy like a case of this and just keep it and snack on it, throw, take it with me. Mmm. This is a perfect meat flavor. Like it is, I don't know how to describe it. It's exactly what I want in a salami type flavor. Like in a, in a, in a, in a, in a dried meat. It's exactly what I'm looking for. It's, it's perfect. It is perfect. I've not said that about a meat that came this box before. I've said stuff's really good. I've said it's delicious. I've said it's awesome. Perfect, perfect balance of flavors. Goes with the wine really well. So now I'm in this now I'm in this zone where I only have this much, and I want to eat more right now. But I only have this much. But it's uh, it's it is delicious. It is that the turbinado sugar, which I've never heard of before. Um, whatever it does for this, it does really really well. Let's go to the chorizo casero. Cut into thin slices, serve the tapas, and ole. This one looks like, oh, look at it. It's got like juiciness in it. So we'll try to avoid that juiciness. Something tells me we're not going to avoid that juiciness. Not at all. Okay, I got a napkin right here. Oh, look at a little tiny guy. He's just a little guy. Don't worry about that little guy. Um, thin slices, huh? Now, I've gone on and on about how much I love a good chorizo. Chorizo and eggs. You know what's turning me on chorizo and eggs? You guys, remember the movie from the 80s, Midnight Run? 
where they're all about they want chorizo and eggs. Um, that's what started me. Oh, I I've got a case I've got to take off. That's what started me on chorizo and eggs. Mmm. Oh, that's a very light flavor. Very tomato. Very tomato. Here you go. Here you go, tomato boy. Now, I don't know. Is this... Is that casing edible? I don't know. It just started peeling off, so I started peeling it off. Um, it is a very tomato-y flavor. It's not... It's not a chorizo like I'm used to. It is, again, much sweeter. They, they, they've got a very sweet product line. I did not look the ingredients at all. Pork salt, Spanish paprika, minced garlic, dextrose, celery extract, um, oregano. I hate when they say that. Uh, lactic acid, starter cultures in beef collagen casings. No tomato at all. But I swear, I have a I have a tomato taste in my mouth. So you could eat this pork collagen casing, but it is it is peeling itself off. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with it, brah. Just go with the bra. It is very greasy. Not that I'm opposed, but maybe it's the Spanish paprika that I'm tasting. It is definitely has that red color. Um, you know what? The hell with being neat and orderly with it at this point. There you go. But chorizo has a very specific flavor that I always expect, and this doesn't have it. That's not bad. It just is. Hmm. It's very soft. And I expect chorizo to be a little bit of a firmer texture. It's interesting. It's very interesting. I would like to experiment with this a little bit and pair it up with some different things. I, it's not... Because how greasy it is, I don't, I don't, it wouldn't be like a snacky kind of meat to me. Like, like, like this I could take with me on a hike and slice it up. But as an appetizer kind of thing or mixed in with some other foods, I can even see this chopped up like with some pasta or things like that. Definitely. But I don't, it's a little heavy as just like a snack, I feel like. But it's good. It's good tasting. Does not go with the wine very well. No. All right, and now our last one. The uh, the uncured pepperoni. What do we got? Pork, salt, paprika, spices, natural hickory smoke. Cool, dextrose, garlic, lactic acid, starter culture. And it does have kind of a darker, you know, they mentioned the hickory, kind of a darker color there. Smells a little bit like Pet Store, honestly, but it could still be delicious. Let's see. We'll cut it to about here. Come on, cut, cut, you cut thing. It's also a little sticky, a little greasy, but uncured pepperoni, you know. Mm. Oh, stop drooling. That's disgusting. What a disgusting drooling dog. This is good. This actually has a bit of a sausage kind of flavor. This actually does not tastes like a traditional pepperoni. It tastes more like like a sweet sausage. That's really good. Very, very good. A little bit of an aftertaste, too. That I, I can't quite place, but it's... Hmm. It's excellent. It's excellent. 
I like everything here tastes very different. Very different from what I expected. And I love it. Once again, I love it. It's one of my favorite subscriptions because it's just delicious. The sweet soprasada. This is this is maybe probably my favorite thing that's ever come in this red box ever. I highly encourage you, if, if you don't want to try the subscription out, find this. Find this and eat it. Um, it's amazing. Mm. I mean, all this is good. This is hot for the sake of being hot. But it's still a good flavor. But all of this is... Uh, mm. What an interesting brand. You know? It's just really good. It's just really good. So, listen, I love this subscription. I say it over and over. I want you guys to love this subscription. I want to love it together. I want us to go on a romantic getaway, just me and this subscription. And then, you know, you guys, maybe, you and your subscription, we run into each other on the beach with our subscriptions and we, like, you know, talk about the fun we've been having with our meat boxes. Um,. It's just so delicious. I love it. So there's a link in the video description. Carnivore Club. They have the classic box. They also have more of a, you know, a, like a beef jerky kind of box. Like a snack box that you can check out too. Worth every penny though. I swear. It really is. Oh, I look forward to it every month. And it just... I try so hard to make it last. But I eat it so fast. It's so good. Um, so... I gotta thank uh, Carnivore Club for putting this box together. I gotta thank my Patreon team for all the support they give me so that we can do all sorts of fun unboxings on this channel and make things happen. I gotta thank all of you guys for watching these videos and making this channel be a thing. And all you guys remember that you are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll be back again real soon.